And Priest Thomas live in Lebanon. She's outside the hospital, actually, where some of those passengers were taken and being treated. Priest, what can you tell us? Well, James, I can tell you, in addition to those passengers on the bus, the driver also had to be taken to the hospital. And uh, police and officials are still trying to piece together what happened. But here's what we know so far about that accident. It happened around 1130 last night on 11 in transit bus. Um, Officials say something happened with the bus driver around Chestnut Street because that's when he appeared to lose control of the bus. He hit uh, several things, including a bridge, a pole, street signs, a church, a hydrant, a car, and he even dragged a dumpster before slamming to a porch of a house on Church Street. Now, we're told there were 23 people on board that bus, 17 of which had to be taken to the hospital again, including the driver. Now, thankfully, officials say many of those people only suffered minor injuries, and we spoke with witnesses who saw the bus before and after it crashed, including a woman who says she saw people flying from the back to the front of the bus before crashing. And a bunch of, like, school kids, like, from Hershey Park and stuff, like, got off the bus. There was a pregnant girl that got off the bus. She got taken in a stretcher. Uh, the whole bus was full of, like, I'd say at least 15 Hershey Park kids that were getting off of work. Now, Church Street will be closed off around the 800 block so that workers can repair the pole that the bus crashed into. Working for you live in Lebanon, Paris Thomas, ABC 27 News. All right, Paris, thank you so much for that this morning. We are following even more.